Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Auto Darts, we are going to check out something really, really cool. This is the Mini Crone by Dr. Jones. A tiny, tiny chronograph. Let's get going. Something like eight or nine months ago, Dr. Jones emailed me and sent me this sample of the Mini Crone. This is a tiny, PCB, that's printed circuit board, with all of the chronograph components built right onto the PCB. It features a display, two sets of IR beams for detection, and a number of nice features in this itty bitty little package. For reference, my normal chronograph is a Pro Chrono. It looks like this. It's a little bit dated. There are some newer models that have more full features. This is a rather frustrating thing to use because of its obvious bulk. It does require these sunshades to be used in direct light, or you can use it with an LED light or some other sort of bulb. Now I have a DC direct LED strips just attached here, and this has proven just perfect for using this in a controlled setting. There's no flicker with this version uh, as far as the lighting, so I have a really good setup that's very reliable. I will frequently put a black blanket over the top of this to also cut out the outside light because the way these chronographs almost all work is they've got two sensors and the software knows the distance between the two and simply does the math of when this beam was broken and when this beam was broken. It's just distance over time. Really, really simple operation. Now this one is very similar and I have to stop and say first of all thank you Dr. Jones for sending this to me and I really want to apologize for taking so so long to do a review. Uh, one of the reasons I don't take on uh, fan builds currently though we're talking about maybe doing that in the future is that stuff tends to kind of pile up. People will send me things for review or to look at and pretty soon I've got 30 boxes over here of things that need to be tested, evaluated, and then have a video made. And I like them to be relatively thorough and not to just pull it out of the package and not know what I'm talking about. So this chronograph, of course, works in the same method. Now, I don't know the details of the circuitry, but obviously there's a microcontroller. It's got USB power and uh, so five volt power, presumably, and then two sets of beams. So when these beams are broken, they will register a shot. So I can plug this guy in. And the first thing we're going to have to actually do is give it some USB power. I've got just a battery bank here, but you could plug this into your computer, into anything with USB, really. Um, now, I'm going to first get this. There are a number of modes here where you can replay your shots, just like any other chronograph, to see your average, see the highest FPS, the lowest FPS, and the standard deviation. Now, I'm hoping my hand will be enough to do this, but in theory, we should have... So each time I break a beam, we can see this little light go on. So there's the front and the back. And if you do them fast enough, my hand moves at 18.1 feet per second. Now, the coolest thing about this is it seems to be very accurate. So this engineer has really done their homework, has really got this right. There is centimeter calibration for the PCB on the back because the placement of these two parts, these two sensors, is extremely important. If they were off by even a couple millimeters, your readings would be completely inaccurate at that point. Now, I can basically go compare this to my stock chronograph, and what I've been doing is placing this right here and then firing through so that both chronographs can read at the same time. So right here, I've got one of my favorite blasters this year, the Takedown. This one's been modified with obviously our speed loaders and speed holders, which are coming soon, but that's another video. Uh, but it also has an upgraded K26 spring that we pre-cut on the site, and those are available in the description below. But, oh, and it has the grip. My gosh, that's another whole video I really need to do. Anyway, this blaster hits hard. It is really, really cool. Um, I love the action on it. It's a lot of fun. And it's a good one to test this out on. Now, in my testing, I've noticed that uh, this detection only goes out so far, about, I'd say, 30 centimeters, maybe a little over an inch. But, essentially, all, all this needs to do is be in line so that the ball passes through both. 
and there we get 143. This is a bit awkward to do hand by hand, but you get the idea. Essentially, it's fire over this, and we get another reading, 147. So this thing's hitting nearly 150, which is pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna cut to some footage comparing the two, my Pro Chrono, which I've been using for years, and this Minicron. All right, so it's proven somewhat challenging to get these two chronographs set up so that they are both reading at the same time. So let's see if we can uh, get that to work this time. It's all about having them lined up perfectly. Normally this would not be an issue because you'd only be um, trying to get one. Overall, you can see that they are very consistent and they are reading very similar. This is a good sign because the Pro Chrono is known to be a very reliable unit. It's been used uh, in ballistics and paintball and airsoft for a very long time. And I found it to be a very reliable unit when set up with the proper lighting. Now, I just think this little thing is super cool. And one thing I did want to mention is that my buddy Eli, four years ago, made something very similar but not nearly as clean and not a final product. He had an Arduino-based little tube that you would fire through and a chronograph that we had intended to produce at some point. Now, we never got around to making that a product and that there were a variety of reasons, one of them being that um, I didn't know or have the knowledge to get PCBs made and it wasn't until I got connected with an engineer friend who could handle all of that PCB design, layout, and programming to actually get us to that step. Because as much as I know about modding, I do not know everything. There is a lot more to learn, and that is the funnest part about this hobby. I get better at design every time I get on my computer. I get better at modding every time I open up a blaster. And there is no ceiling, as far as I can tell, to improvement. And that's what makes this such a great hobby. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire a couple more shots over this just so we get some, some different readings. That's 147, 143, 134, 137. So as I click through here, this has the features to show me the, the average, the standard deviation. That's the range between the highest and the lowest shot as well as the highest shot, the lowest shot, and the frequency, which is shots per second, which is also a pretty cool thing. Not as much applicable to this blaster because you're not gonna get more than about a shot a second off. Now, this is not a product that we're selling. However, I am going to discuss with Dr. Jones whether he'd be interested in selling or licensing the design. I think the cute little package and the really well done PCB, along with really just cool um, lettering and design. I think it's just fantastic and he's done a really really nice job. So thank you so much Dr. Jones for sending me this amazing little chronograph. This is going to go in my kit for all games because it is so small that I can put this literally in any of my gear bags and it'll fit perfectly. I have this basic stack on divider that goes to all of my games. It's got basic tools, it's got a portable soldering iron and all the basic repair parts that I might need, a few extra mounts, a sling mount, some tape, a solder, those basic things that tend to come up, some extra LiPo alarms, and this is gonna join my every single game kit. So I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this? I know there are a lot of chronographs out there. They range anything from $60 to a couple hundred dollars for a high-end one. Would you be interested in seeing like something like this in the shop in the future? Uh, it's definitely something that I wouldn't want to do or feel good about doing unless I had Dr. Jones specifically saying that we could sell it or design something similar or license it, but that's a discussion for a later time. But I'd love to hear what you think of this. Do hit that like and subscribe button if you found this interesting. 
I thought this was just a really, really cool design. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out of darts. Five feet, seven, 16, <laughs> 10, 10 FPS. Also, my finger, 10 FPS.